Good morning, everyone. Today, I want to talk to you about the difference between a performance entrepreneur and a lifestyle entrepreneur, and to ask the question of which one you are. So, it is really windy, as you can tell, on this really cold Saturday morning. It's the coldest day that I've run in for a long, long time. Three degrees out here today, so I, uh, I definitely am not dressed correctly. I should be in running tights and a, a red jacket and gloves on for this weather. But I'm not, but I will be for the next run. So if you can actually hear me, because it's so windy, hopefully the audio is not too bad. But anyway, so. Performance entrepreneur or lifestyle entrepreneur, which one are you? Now it's a uh, productivity hacks and mindset today, which is uh, what we do on a Saturday. It's one of my favourite topics, and this is uh, a really big one because you need to understand this pretty early on in your entrepreneurial journey. And uh, I learned this from, uh, from Daniel Priestley, the author of uh, Key Parts of Influence, the uh, the Entrepreneur Revolution, 24 assets, don't subscribe, amazing entrepreneur, amazing marketeer. And this one's really, really important because a lot of people don't really think about this. And uh, everything is linked to it. So what I mean by that is, uh, firstly, let's explain the differences between the two. Well. A performance entrepreneur, it has a mission to change the world in some capacity. So that's the type of Elon Musk type of individuals who revolutionise the way we use vehicles, you know, by switching to electric vehicles with his Teslas. He isn't somebody who's just doing it for his own lifestyle. He wants to change the world. And that's a really good example of, of a uh, performance entrepreneur. Look at Daniel Priestley. He wants to change the way entrepreneurs, you know, become key people of influence and how they can get their message out to the world. Look at Russell Brunson. He's uh, one of my favourite marketing gurus. And uh, you know, he wants to change the way people take products to market using sale, sales funnels. The song about our breath already is the, the intake of wind that's going, going down my throat and nose every, every breath. So it's a, and it's so cold, so it's pretty breathtaking today. But anyway, I digress. So that's the, the definition of a performance entrepreneur. A lifestyle entrepreneur wants to create something that serves their lifestyle. So. You have to ask this question to find out who you are. And it's normally pretty obvious in terms of the traits of both. Now, for me, I'm 100% a lifestyle entrepreneur. Now, I do want to get my message out there to a wider audience. And my message being that, you know, I want to help the small micro business owner overcome overwhelm, stress and anxiety through using exercise as a release mechanism to entrepreneurship. That's my, that's ultimately what my entrepreneur blog is about. But ultimately, I don't think I've got the drive and the ambition of what I used to feel I had. Now I just want to have a lifestyle where I can enjoy my time with my family, go running around the world in crazy retreats whilst getting my message out there. But it's certainly more on a continuum towards the lifestyle side and the performance side. So the key thing is, is when you know this, and just for pleasure now, it's not cold enough, it's just started raining as well. So really, really brutal, brutal conditions this morning. But uh, when you start knowing and understanding what type of entrepreneur you are, setting goals becomes a lot easier because you know ultimately what you want at the back end. And when you can set your goals better, you can then, your goals are master, you can then plan
plan more effectively. So what are the steps you need to take to get there over a long time scale? And then once you're there, you can then work out what challenge or catalyst you're going to need to make you take that first step to avoid procrastination. But it all stems from this question and understanding where you fit on the entrepreneurial continuum, if that makes sense, of a lifestyle entrepreneur or performance entrepreneur. And uh, really, really important. A lot of people think they're performance entrepreneurs, but until you really dive deep and really ask yourself that question on a deep, deeper perspective, then you truly answer that. And I predict, sorry, it's so windy. Sorry, I hate doing that on camera, but my nose was running, so uh, excuse me. But anyway, I would predict that most people who say they're performance entrepreneurs are not. And one of the biggest characteristics of a performance entrepreneur is this fixation, this passion, this delivering this purpose to the world. That's what they live for. They live and breathe it. That doesn't mean they don't want to spend time with their family and do the things that lifestyle entrepreneurs want to, but it's it just, it's just that fixation in making that change, change making that revolution in the world. And it's really, really important to that. So, that's pretty much it for me today on this ridiculously windy and cold morning. I hope you found this useful. Very, very, so windy. Don't miss it because the difference is ridiculous. It feels like there's no wind now because it's coming behind me. Just to show you again, we turn back into it now. Feel the difference. Look at that. Can you barely hear me now? That's a good episode in itself. Running with or without the wind. Right, so go back the other way again. Oh wow. My arms are numb. Hands are numb, my legs are numb. It's that. It's, a, it's so cold, and the wind chill factor just makes it brutal. But anyway, right, back to the vlog. To summarise, the difference between a lifestyle and a performance entrepreneur. Performance entrepreneurs want to change the world. Their sole purpose is making a difference to the masses, changing the way the world does things. It's their purpose, their mission. Think you've got Elon Musk type individuals, your Russell Brunson, Daniel Priestley, they have a very clearly defined message about who they're changing the world and how and they know exactly how they're gonna do it. Lifestyle entrepreneurs want to change their own personal lives and give themselves a lifestyle that that they desire. I.e. maybe a nice car, a nice house, you know, a few holidays a year, that type of thing. It could be, you know, different everyone's different, but the, the difference is, if you don't know whether you're a performance entrepreneur, you think you're a performance entrepreneur, you're not. Performance entrepreneurs are so fixated on their mission. I my wrist, I don't know how I've done that. Anyway, um, yeah, performance entrepreneurs are so fixated on their goal and their purpose that it is undeniably obvious that they are a performance entrepreneur. So if you're not a million percent sure, then you're, you're a lifestyle entrepreneur. So, the second point is understand this. 
because it links to your goal setting and milestone setting. When you know this, setting your goals and milestones becomes far easier. And please don't think there is anything wrong with being a lifestyle entrepreneur. I would imagine 90% of entrepreneurs out there, just a guess, there's no statistical uh, uh, evidence that supports this. It's just my estimation. Probably 90%, if not more, entrepreneurs out there are lifestyle entrepreneurs. So, uh, point two is once you know this, you can set your goals and milestones far more effectively because you're not trying to force yourself to set a different goal, which, which isn't really true. Too many people are lifestyle entrepreneurs, they try and set performance based performance entrepreneur goals. As a result, they'll never ever succeed in achieving them. So, don't get it wrong because it can have catastrophic effects on you and your business. So that's pretty much it for me today. Hope you found this useful. A really, really big topic and a really important one. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment. I'll respond to everyone. A bit bigger topic, I'll do a separate vlog episode and tag you in. If this is of no interest to you at all, please just unfriend and follow me. No problem there also, I don't want to cut people's feeds uh, who are not interested. But before you go, do check out my uh, Run Pranav Facebook group or my Kevin Britton Run Pranav YouTube channel whereby all 117 or so episodes are catalogued nice and neatly by topic so you can dip in and out as an ad hoc resource which will be completely free of charge will never cost you anything so hopefully that will be useful to you at some point in the future so that's it for me today as always stay positive stay happy and most importantly today wrap up warm I'll switch you tomorrow bye